Hi, I'm Surendra from Cisco Systems. In this video, we will discuss about the site tags on the configuration model which is getting introduced as part of the Cisco Catalyst 9800 series wireless LAN controllers. The configuration model is focused on reusability of common characteristics across different parts of the network. The previous object what we had in AeroS controllers such as AP groups, WLANs, interfaces have been migrated into different profiles which can be easily applied at different points through tags without having to reconfigure all details again. One of the cornerstones of configuration model is reusability. Just like object-oriented programming, we reuse the code instead of repeating it over and over again. We can relate the configuration model to different classes in object-oriented programming. One of them is site tag. Site tag defines the properties of the site which contains two profiles, flex profile and AP profile. The attributes that are specific to flex are remote site, a part of the flex profile. Apart from the flex profile, the site tag also constitutes of some attributes which are specific to the physical site. The flex profile consists of local VLANs, flex local authentication configurations, policy ACLs and many more. Similarly, AP profile contains LED, TCP MSS, CAPWAP timers, CAPWAP features, AP management, Rogue and many more. AP profiles and flex profiles consist of common configuration parameters which can be clubbed and can be reused. Once we create the AP and flex profile, we can map this to different site tags and onto the access points instead of creating it every single time. This is the power of reusability. Cisco recommends configuring different site tags for better load balancing and more efficient usage of the resources which holds good for both flex connect and local mode deployments. Thank you.